It has literally been one step at a time, but Mike Prendel's progress as a cancer survivor is nothing short of remarkable. Because of a tumor deep inside his hip, it looked at one point like Mike would have to be cut in half in order to save his life. I was glad for what they did leave me with. I did ask the doctor if he could save my right leg. You know, please, please, at all costs, at least save my right leg. And he said he would. That doctor was Joel Mayerson of Ohio State's James Cancer Hospital. He says because of the type and location of Mike's tumor, he had no choice but to remove the lower left part of his body to remove the cancer. But then he had an idea. We knew we were going to take his lower leg and amputate it but the bones and the blood supply to the lower leg were not involved with the tumor. What happened next was medical history. With Dr. Ehud Mendel, Mayerson and Dr. Michael Miller took the live, healthy bones from Mike's amputated leg and rebuilt his hip. They placed Mike's thigh bone between his spine and the front of his pelvis. Then, to stabilize his spine, they used a shin bone, along with screws and a titanium device made specifically for Mike. By using Mike's own bones, there was a hope that everything would fuse together and the bones would grow as if they were meant to be in that position, a hope that quickly turned into reality. He's already fused. We saw it very quickly after the surgery that he fused because there was still blood supply going to these bones, which promote bone healing very quickly. That surgery allowed Mike to get a high-tech prosthetic leg with tiny computers that help him learn how to walk again, something that was only possible, ironically, by taking one of his legs in the first place. I've gotten to the point where I can almost walk with no assistance at all, which in my case I think is amazing as it is. At Ohio State's James Cancer Hospital, this is Clark Powell reporting.